This is a broken auto baler that was on the bottom of the sunfish I bought. You can see the plastic's broken off, and when I found it, it was shoved full of dirt like somebody had dragged the boat backwards in the gr ground or in its keel. Um, but essentially, and it was also plugged with a piece of styrofoam, looks like a fishing float, but essentially, this thing goes through a hole in the bottom of your boat, and it will suck water out of it when your boat is moving. Now, it's supposed to have a plug, so let me show you the new part. This is the direct replacement I got from Sunfish Direct. And essentially, inside of here, you can see there's supposed to be a little white ball that rolls around. See how it sits in there? When it's in the water, that ball floats, and it makes a seal against that little guy there. Um, and supposedly that keeps any water from coming up into your boat, assuming you know the ball floats around and into the right spot. Um, it also has a rubber gasket around the bottom, and you put this guy on the top, so you put this through the giant nut, plastic nut, you sandwich that in your boat, you tighten this thing down, so the rubber here acts as a gasket, and I put it on backwards because that plug is supposed to go in your plug hole, so make sure when you put it on your boat you put it on the right way. And so you sandwich those through there, and supposedly you shouldn't need any silicone or any caulking. Um, you should just be able to tighten that down enough so that water doesn't get in, assuming this ball is floating correctly, or you have this plug-in. So generally you want to have the plug-in, and if you get water inside your hole, in the cockpit area, you pull the plug out while you're underway, and the suction from the water going past the bottom of your boat sucks water down and out. It also, this one here has a nicer little ridges here. So the original one was just flat, so you'd have you know two millimeters of water at the bottom of your boat that couldn't get in that hole. Now there's these little notches cut through. So you're only gonna have one millimeter of water at the very bottom that you can just pop up with a sponge. So this is just a direct unscrew it, screw it back on replacement. Pretty easy, except for the fact that it cost 80 bucks or 75 bucks to, to buy one of these guys. Um, you need a one and a half inch wrench, so my one and a quarter isn't going to work here, so I'm using just channel lock, you know, adjustable pliers here to screw this thing on. So this is the Sunfish cockpit, and that hole right there is where my auto baler came out of. So it's just a matter of sticking it on, and when I do that, I have to hold the bottom so that this guy is pointing forwards and the water is flowing past the back end here when I tighten it down. This particular one here is the 13 16th depth. And so if you have the one that came out, you want to measure it, make sure it's the right length because there's two different sizes or different model years. All right, make sure I got this gasket going the right way. Minimize the dirt around here. I'll just go in there. Alright, I think that's tight enough since I'm starting to scrape the plastic here. So you want to leave that drain plug open anytime your boat's just sitting on the shore so any rain or water that gets in just kind of have a chance to drain out there. The only time you want to plug that is when you're sailing. So you can see here the front's pretty good. There's just a little bit of gap on the back there. You can either live with it or put a little uh, silicone around it. And you can see here those two pins are what keep the ball from rolling out of that thing when you're underway. When you stop moving, the force of buoyancy supposedly lifts that ball up and plugs the hole.